My camera's gonna die. So that's great. I'm so hungry. Funny story. I tried smuggling some food today at work and I got caught. Be like me. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, people assume the weirdest things about you. And I really wanted to know what people assumed about me. Don't even think about it. So I asked Instagram uh, to send me assumptions of things that you thought about me or things that you wondered about me. And I got a few, which is very surprising because normally people just like go watch your story and don't respond. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and read some of the assumptions that I did get. For the first assumption I got, um, this person said, I think you're perfect and hilarious and funny as hell. Holla at me. Okay, thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> perfect, no. I have so many flaws working on myself as we speak. The farthest thing from perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious? Absolutely. I feel like I laugh at my jokes more than I laugh at anyone else's, but there are a select people in my life who could literally bring me to tears because of how funny they are, and I just, I don't know what I would do without those people. Um, fine as hell? When I want to be, which is very rare. Which is rare. But thank you. <laughs> okay. For the second assumption, this person said, you're the love of my life. I love you so much, so that is true. That is not an assumption. I feel like we have come so far in the amount of time that we've known each other, um, and I feel like you are gonna do so great in life and never sell yourself short because you literally deserve the world, and I love you so much. For the third assumption, this person said, that a lot of insecure people hate on you because you're gorgeous, talented, and confident. Um, this is a whole new topic. One of my biggest pet peeves is meeting a group of girls. And in those group of girls, you find someone who feel like everything's a competition. I don't know. I don't like when people are insecure because of me because it's like, I'm not perfect. Nine out of 10, I am ugly as hell. Like, it sucks when you meet someone and it's like, you can't vibe because everything that they do is like to be higher than you or to be better than you. And it's like, why is that your thought process? Like, why can't you just do things for yourself? I feel like I am myself 100% with no apologies for that. And people hate on me because I'm gorgeous. I think it's really, really, really shitty when people just don't like you because of your features. It's like, I wasn't always the cute kid. Oh my God, in middle school, I had the biggest crush on a guy who didn't even think twice about me, ever. So it's like when, when girls are like, guys must have always been drooling over you. It's like, no, no. I think that started happening sophomore year of high school. And I'm just kidding, it started happening last year. Joke's on you, because Without makeup, your girl is really struggling. Um, I'm talented. Every time I see people from high school, they're like, don't you have this amazing voice? And I'm like, I did the talent show one time. I used to be so outgoing. I don't know what happened. Um, she also thinks that I'm confident. I'm really learning. I'm learning to self-accept and be a better version of myself. And I think that is where confidence comes from. I don't think it comes from, oh, you look amazing. I would rather be complimented on my soul than my face. And I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> on to assumption four. I assume that you actually don't poop, <laughs> like ever. Okay, fun fact, I did not know that you were supposed to poop every day. Like. I don't know if we talked about this in like science class, or, but I didn't know that. And for a long time I didn't, which is probably TMI, but you know, we all do, so whatever. So I always thought that something was wrong with me and there probably is, because I still don't poop every day, but your girl poops, so whoops. All right, for the fifth assumption, this person says, 
You're a pretty nice girl who loves to spend all her time with friends. People probably think like I have so many friends, but I promise you, I, I literally don't. I take responsibility for a lot of that because I get into this phase where I need my space and so I push people away or people will push me away. You kind of do me wrong. I just want nothing to do with you in that sense. The last person that I actually genuinely hung out with just moved away and so sad about it because it's like I don't go out, I don't go see movies and it's like maybe I should learn to do some of that by myself but at the same time it's like how do you watch the ID channel like these girls go missing all the time because they either go out by themselves or they go out with girls that they don't know and it's like you guys are not gonna roofie me. I have seen all the movies. No. I hate being at home. So it sucks that I literally don't have anyone to hang out with anymore in the sense of like a girlfriend. Like I don't have girlfriends that I just go out with. So if you want to be girlfriends, please hit me up because I'm always down. All right, for the fifth assumption, this person says you're seeing somebody. No. <laughs> I am always in a long-term relationship and it's like, ugh. I am such a hopeless romantic. I'm a very independent woman, and <laughs> you know, all of this. I love to do things for myself. I hate being handed anything. I like earning things, uh, but I, I feel like this time for myself is solid, and I'm gonna take full advantage of it. For the sixth assumption, um, this person said, you fine as <laughs> Thank you. It's so cringy when I'm at work and people will be like, honey, you're so beautiful. Do you get that a lot? I bet you get that a lot. And I'm like, that question is cringy and you should never ask or say that to anyone. It's just so weird and I just don't, I don't like it. But the next assumption this person said, in high school, you always skipped classes my sport senior year i will say that i hated going to school and it's like i had first period off and i was always late and then by like fourth period i would just dodge golf carts for a living because i didn't see the point in staying for classes where i either did the work there was no test or classes that so you might as well just go ahead and risk getting caught by the golf people and go get something to eat. So that is a true assumption. I did skip a lot. Um, my mom now knows that, so if she sees this, sorry mom. Um, but I graduated, got my diploma, so can I complain? Absolutely not is pretty much it. Um, I didn't have a lot, but I talk a lot, so this video will be long regardless. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and stay tuned for the next one. I know you guys are dying to see an apartment tour and I will film that as soon as possible. But that is it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.